him. Today we are going to talk about the basics of mechanical ventilation. I think uh, it is very important to understand what is this machine, what's meant up by this uh, ventilator, uh, what's the function of this ventilator, and this is uh, led us to uh, study the uh, ventilator cells. Yeah? What is the ventilator? What is the uh, component of this ventilator? How does this ventilator deliver the pressure to the patients? Yeah? And this is uh, the first uh, part to, uh, to talk. The Finnesian ventilator is a machine designed to alter, transmit, or direct applied energy, whether electric uh, uh, gases, uh, something like that, in a predetermined manner, in a preset data set for the, for the ventilator to augment or replace the patient muscles. For we, when we talk about ventilator, the ventilator is meant to replace the respiratory pump or to assist or to help the respiratory pump in performing the work of freezing. In short, this machine is meant to deliver breath to the patient. So uh, these ventilators were different types. The first, which is negative pressure ventilation, this is the star, the primitive one. And now they are starting to make uh, a new advanced technology and the development of negative pressure ventilations was still not uh, widely uh, used uh, worldwide. The second part, which is the very important part, this is our topic, which is the post pressure ventilation, which you deliver there to the patient through the endotracheal tube or to the the customer tube or to, through the mes face mask, what we call that non invasive post pressure ventilation or invasive uh, post pressure ventilation. The last one, which is uh, high frequency ventilation, this is not uh, our topic today. So, this is the ventilator. When you look at that, uh, this is a ventilator is meant to deliver breath through this tube, what we call tube circuit to the patients, whether non-invasive then through the face mask or invasive through the endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube, in order to deliver the air to the lung itself. So this is a ventilation. So this is uh, that's it. This is a ventilator which is connected to the electricity, to the air, to the to the oxygen, and then the processing uh, of this uh, uh, of this uh, uh, air uh, takes take, takes place here in this ventilator to deliver the press to the patients in a certain manner, and then exhale back to the ventilator and to go outside. So this is the ventilator again. These are the input for the ventilation ventilator, which is electricity. It is run by electricity and it is supplied by air and supplied by oxygen in order to deliver the breath to the patient. So the composition is uh, formed of uh, a power point. And this is uh, electricity and this is a socket for electricity. And we have two other sockets with different colors, uh, when the different different uh, sockets itself. This is uh, this is an auction, one an auction, and the other is air. So this is uh, uh, is delivered to the ventilator, and then the air and the, and the electricity are supplied uh, by high volt or high pressures uh, and these power transmissions uh, to down regulate the, this electric and gas load to uh, match the requirement of these uh, control circuits. And these control circuits are electric or electronic or pneumatic or flowers or something like that. This is an engineering uh, uh, process or engineering problem. But our one is control variables. This is the uh, number four, the control variables. What, what's meant by control variables? We are delivering air, we are delivering press. What are the physical characters of this uh, delivered uh, press, delivered air? It has a volume. And the, it has a flow and delivered in certain time and developed by certain pressures, by certain compositions of IO2. And these, uh, uh, these data are repeated how frequent uh, per minute. This is respiratory rate. So when we talk about the control variable, this is a physical, physical character of the breath itself. Physical character of the breath. You are delivering a breath, it has a volume, by certain flow rate per minute, in a certain time, with a certain pressure, and with certain compositions, and all these are repeated that how many times per minute. The second on the, the, the second part, which is a phase variable. First variable, this is that we are delivering air from this machine to this patient. 
this uh, the brush it is a physiology the machine as uh, this is a, 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 an engineering device so we have to match this uh, engineering device with the physiology of the patients uh, so we this has led us to divide the inspiratory the inspiratory cycle itself into different steps the first step which is what we call triggering Triggering with it, when the patient starts to take his breath, it changes from uh, expiration to inspiration. So, so we have to let the machine know that the patient is starting to take his breath. This is what we call triggering. And after that, uh, when the machine understands that the patient starts to take his breath, uh, he has to open, the machine has to open its uh, uh, demand valve to deliver air. And this uh, deliver of air, how, 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 how far, how, how much you deliver the air, by, by how, how uh, the, the flow of, uh, of this uh, of air, how, how much will be the flow, and this is uh, what you call the rising time. So you have to define to the patient, you have to define to the ventilator to tell it. And the patient and the ventilator starts to deliver this air, and when he delivers this air, the air fl flows through the tracheal uh, bronchotracheal tree and then to inflate the lung, producing some sort of pressure. And this is according to the time of the, of the ventilator. The, if you tell the ventilator that the patient, uh, when the pressure reaches to certain value, you have to downregulate the flow in order to keep this. Uh, don't this uh, this pressure don't exceed this pressure this is uh, what we call in a pressure controlled uh, 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 time of ventilator or sometimes you tell the, the ventilator just give a flow to deliver certain volume so the deliver of certain volume and this flow will and will produce some sort of pressures and these pressures in this case uh, you tell the, the machine this is a limit if it exceeds just give me alarm we're going to talk about this. So this is the limit, whether alarm or not be exceeded. Alarm and volume control or not be to be exceeded and pressure control. And the machine asks you, am I going to continue delivering this, uh, this flow or this volume endless or to certain limits? You yeah, know, you tell it uh, that uh, if you deliver, say, certain tidal volume, just close the inspiratory uh, uh, limb no more deliver of oxygen no more deliver of air this is uh, one or you tell it uh, if you deliver after a certain time you stop it you close this uh, in spot lamp or you tell it please uh, when the flow decreases to certain level just close it so this is uh, the what you call cycle of so you end the inspiration but you end the inspiration by different techniques according to the different modes according to the ventilator and when you when you close that when you close this inspiratory lamp you have to open the uh, the expiratory because it is closed system if it is an open system it will not it will not act so you open the the expiratory uh, uh, valve to exhale for to, to let the patient exhale and when the patient exhales this uh, he will exhale this uh, whole total volume to reach uh, to reach to reach to the basal to the basal level which is the function of the capacity or to keep some volume to be above the function of the capacity what you call the B so this is uh, the phase fiber so this is uh, 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 a, a, a way to make to let the ventilator understand uh, the phases uh, of delivery of uh, oxygen uh, of the of the breast to the patient and so this is the triggering we have said change from expiration to inspirations this uh, triggering the the ventilator understand that the patient starts to take his breath uh, through change in the flow you set the value change in the pressure you set the value or the patient is paralyzed uh, and it is an order so no triggering in this case uh, the patient the the, the 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 ventilator will deliver the breath uh, uh, say every five or four or three uh, seconds uh, and this is the volume change in the volume this is not common and after opening uh, the demand valve this is the flow. There is a flow which is uh, predetermined. Uh, sometimes uh, you said to the ventilator just uh, when you start, start by certain flow in order to match the demand of the patient. This is arising, and after that, uh, it will reach to a certain level of the, of the pressures. And these pressures uh, may be uh, target pressures uh, which should not be exceeded and in pressure control or pressure support, uh, or this may be an alarm. 
may be exceeded or be less or more as in case volume controlled in this case the ventilator will give you alarm that uh, you are exceeding the this set uh, value or he didn't he will not give you an alarm because you are still below it and after that you terminate this uh, this pressure by certain determinant after delivery of certain volume or after certain flow decrease in certain flow or, or after certain time or after certain pressure this is the problem of this is this is cycle of terminations of the inspirations and this means that you will close the inspiratory lamp and after that the expiratory lamp might be open in, or you keep it uh, closed for some time this is what called inspiratory both so the inspiratory lamp has been closed and the, uh, 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 and, uh, the uh, expiratory lamp is still closed and so no movement of air so the, the, there is a drop in the pressure and this is the measurements of, of the blood to what to call the blood to pressure or the pressure exerted that in the alveoli due to inflation due to the inflation of this alveoli what you call the blood two pressures and after that you open it and there is that exhalations of this side of volume go back to the uh, function zero capacity or cell above the band function zero capacity what we call the p this uh, the uh, following point which is the condition value condition value means if something happens you do something this is a psi psi in uh, this is uh, they used to say that if you deliver certain tidal volume monotonous the same tidal volume this might lead to some sort uh, of uh, 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 dysfunction of the lung and uh, you have to change that uh, you have to mi uh, uh, mimic the uh, uh, normal physiology this is change in the tidal volume so you give uh, certain tidal volume should be delivered by a little bit higher than the normal by certain rate uh, whether it is uh, multiple or single per minute this is uh, SI and the function of this SI is to uh, open the electrolytic alveoli and at the same time increase the uh, oxygenation the, uh, the another important point which is the apnea uh, we are going to see to know that uh, the ventilations uh, may be spontaneous or mandatory spontaneous that the patient starts the patient takes his breath uh, starts the uh, the the, the, pre, the breath and determines the breath and so the rate uh, uh, will be that of the patients uh, and at the same time the tidal volume and everything these are data we are going to discuss uh, later so this is what we call the spontaneous breathing so the, uh, we will ask ourselves if what will happen if the patient stops breathing uh, or the breath of the patient starts to decrease uh, not, uh, to give a minute volume which, should, which is not matching the demand of the patients. In this case, uh, you have to give the, uh, the uh, you have to supply the ventilator by certain data, what we call apnea data. Telling the, the uh, giving the, the, the ventilator data, if the patient uh, uh, starts to take a pause, a larger pause of inspiration, he stopped breathing for 10 or 15 or 20 or 12 seconds. You have to start uh, mandatory ventilation. So you have to start this apnea ventilation, which is mandatory ventilation, obliging the patient, obliging the patient to take uh, the rate and the the value of the data by the ventilator, not the patient uh, data, or to tell to tell the ventilator if the respiratory rate decreased uh, less than 10 or less than 8 uh, uh, breaths per manager in this case uh, you have to start apnea ventilation so in this case you, will, you should uh, put the data for the apnea ventilation which is a mandatory data if the patient is uh, on volume controlled or the patient controlled you have to put we're going to talk about it uh, volume controlled you should uh, put uh, the tidal volume and uh, pressure controlled you should uh, put the inspector time with the pressure uh, with the, the max pressure uh, uh, the vmax for the, for the patient so this is uh, uh, these are the conditioned variables so you have to take care for, for the patient flow uh, waveforms this uh, varies and this is uh, in some sometimes it is mandatory for certain uh, for cer for certain uh, 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 modes of ventilations and the patient says the volume control for sure this will be square if he's uh, on the pressure control uh, this may be uh, descending or decelerating uh, and there is a difference between this uh, and regarding the inflation of the alveoli and regarding the oxygenation and decelerating is more bad uh, to come to the uh, last point of uh, the types of respirations, uh, we divided the modes of the respirations into either spontaneous respiration, spontaneous respirations when the patient triggers and the patient terminates. The cycle of is that of the patient and the inspiration is that of the patient, so we call that uh, a spontaneous uh, cycle but uh, it may be mandatory and this may mandatory may be uh, 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 maybe the uh, there are two types of mandatory the patient uh, might trigger 
and the cycle are done by the ventilator. This controlled and mandatory ventilations, triggering and cycling are done by the ventilator. If the patient is paralyzed, in this case, uh, the triggering and the terminations will be that of the ventilator. So this is controlled mandatory ventilations, and this is uh, uh, mandatory. Or sometimes uh, the patient trigger and the ventilator terminates, as in case of assisted control ventilator. The patient start to trigger, and the, the ventilator completes the cycle. And the cycle off is that of the ventilator, as in case of uh, uh, volume controlled mandatory ventilations. Thank you.